What is happening, folks, on YouTube? If you're out there, what is what the up? deal? This is the Benched Podcast live stream extravaganza. You know what it is. And we got a lot of stuff to get into. But we, we're going to continue the conversation we were just yeah. having. Cause I was it, just looking up the price of an elephant. What did it say? Did, uh, did it bring I, it up? I, I put the phone down because we were going live. But let me check this out real quick. The price of an elephant. Uh, when it guy. comes to pets. I love it. Let's see. Give me an elephant. Nah, that's dope, though. I mean, that, that, that truly is kind of dope. I, I ain't going to lie. I, uh, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Is, is it not going to work? <laughs> it will cost you around $1.5 million INR, which I'm assuming is Indian I mean, that, that, currency. That truly is kind of dope. But if it's like a rupee, that's 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 oh different though. Oh my god! Oh yeah, is, is it not gonna work? <laughs> well, I'm gonna make it work. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That, hey, shouts Kaligla, shout to Javi's, and head over to the YouTube right now. This is the Bench Podcast. I'm with my my boy Big Laidlaw, what up? and we are uh, we are getting it cracking, talking some fantasy football information. Pet elephants. Uh, so, uh, wifey's in here. She asked you why you're buying an elephant. She wants to know. Uh, because she, that is the only pet I've ever wanted in my whole life. Shout out to Young Sko. Hey, so everybody in the uh, IG joint, thank you for jumping in. Right now, we're doing the Benched live stream podcast where we talk fantasy football and a bunch of other things. And uh, right now, my homie Big Laidlaw is talking about the fact that he wants to own Yo, an elephant. Look at this baby elephant playing with the shit That is dope. That is dope. So would you get you would get like a baby elephant then? And like, oh, hell yeah, up. Okay, bro. okay. Yeah, so you got to figure out what the INR is. So, so Helga saying you have three dogs, you don't need a, you don't need. They're a, gonna love that fucking elephant, bro. Yeah, no, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I think, I think it would they'll, work. They'll out. I'm actually, I'm elephant. actually with it. I don't know that I'd take a twenty-eight ride grand, bro. Done, no problem, <laughs> no problem, dude. Twenty-eight grand to own an elephant. Nah, but you also gotta consider food. Seven grand a upkeep month, or seven grand a year. I looked. That's it, it. That's it. How you gonna clean up the shit? Hire somebody. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you got to figure it out, bro. I, yeah. can't, I can't really argue with you. I mean, this is like endgame deal. You know what I mean? Like, Well, if you, if you get the spot in North Dakota, can North they live Dakota in the cold, one. though? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think about that. that. Yeah, that, that, might, be the, that oh, might be the thing that's the problem is can they, can they live in the cold? Because I'm not so sure they can live in the Dude, cold. Dude, I'll just wrap them in wool suits, man. It'll be like a woolly mammoth. <laughs> That'll be good, bro. Like a Chewbacca suit. <laughs> That'll be good, man. So let, let's get into it. While you look that up, let's get into it, bro. Uh, okay, so I went through the picks last week. Last week, we were 7-3 uh, and three on the games. Yeah. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Which ones did we get wrong? Uh, so actually, you were 8-2. and two. I was 7-3. and three. So Green Bay and Indianapolis, we got wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then uh, uh, I got wrong in the Rams. Uh, you picked the Rams. I picked the Saints. What's up? Sorry. Can you send me that link? Uh, I got my... Uh, I got the. Oh, you mean like email to you or something? Someone. Okay, I got you. I got you. Sorry. Okay. All right. I'll make it happen. All right. Don't don't threaten my life here. Not on camera anyway. Yeah. So people go to jail. Actually, that's probably the best way for it to happen. Man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That, way I can, that way I can say I can say it happened. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, let me send this to her real quick. All good, man. Um, but yeah, so and also uh, we're gonna talk about this as well. But you hit on all your fantasy picks where you were giving people advice. Oh hell yeah! You hit on everything. I was like, oh man, he's gonna be happy to hear that. Cause yeah, I was, I'm glad I could help you. Yeah, man. you did. You gave out some good picks. All right, so uh, I got extremely lucky. No, no, you know what you're doing, man. Don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, fantasy football is all guesswork, man. So no, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a big fact. You can um, you can check out stats and check out uh, carrying percentage and timeshare percentage, but. That's about don't it. don't mean that at the end of the day. Nah, All right, so let's get into some news this week, man. At so, the end of the day, uh, Jeff Wilson still had two touchdowns last week. Who is Jeff Wilson? That's the point, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, no, who's he playing for? I don't even know that. San Francisco, oh, okay. bro. Receiver or tight end? Running back. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> that, that's why you here, bro, because I, I, I don't be knowing enough. So um, let's get into some news. So Antonio Brown cut from the Steelers, sending messages to the victim. Yeah. And, the, what did you think about oh that, man? Oh, my God, man. It's just... I'm not going to say your boy, Antonio Brown, because that would be rude. Not, that, yeah, that, 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 that would be Fool's rude. never been my boy. That would be rude but, uh, if I said I that. I just don't get it, bro. Like, yeah. like, What's wrong with him? I, it's it's like a soap opera, man. My thing is, what I, what I, don't, what I, what I don't get is like, what, what's going on in his head? Why would you send the victim? Why would you include her on? A, okay, so so you want to give the rundown of what actually happened with the testimony? So it was, it, I don't even. I'm not completely sure what's happening with this situation. Right. This isn't the victim of the case. This is a separate party that I think is providing testimony against him in the case. So wait, this wasn't the lady. This wasn't that, his former trainer. This no, but this is the lady that did the painting. The painting, right? Oh, is the person that the, did the, the painting. muralist? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. I, I I was. 
I was hazy about who it was. Yeah, All yeah, I know yeah, is yeah. he sent pictures of her kids and said she's poor and that's why she's doing this to her and all his boys. And it wasn't even honestly threatening, but it was just it's stupid. So gross, yeah, it was just stupid. And then he had his lawyer in the group chat that right. he sends this text to. And the text was like, like you said, she's poor. Let's investigate her. She's a she's a homie hopper, like a groupie. Yeah. All yeah. this different Meek stuff. Mill, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this different stuff. And then like... And the Patriots immediately cut him. Yep. Apparently, they didn't know about um, the stuff that happened before they signed him. You believe oh, that? Because Robert Kraft came out. I guess he was actually in a business meeting. And when this stuff came out about the text messages, he stopped the meeting yeah. and called Bill Belichick and said, nah, yeah. we're done. Wow. But, but then, he, and then he went on to say later, they, the, the allegations came out after they signed him, which could be true because it was all in a very short time period. Yeah, sure. But I don't know that I believe they didn't know. Uh, it's just out of my, it's such a gross situation, man. Yeah. Uh, and he's so crazy, dude. I don't. He, he's getting like to the, yeah. the super weird space. I know. Like there's the odd weird, and then yeah. it's like, dude, dude he's got To telling him to calm down. Bro. So <laughs> that's when you know. Yeah. AB's gonna be doing that. Vontez Burger told me back in practice. You got yeah, To. No, right. got To telling you to he's chill go, out. He's gonna be at his at his uh, driveway doing crunches next week. Yeah, exactly. Um, does he find a new job? Um, I feel like he might find a new job. Yeah. He, so, you know, unfortunately in the NFL, they overlook a lot of stuff for talent, bro. Um, I, it's shocking the, to me, too. The Dolphins, maybe? maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They might help them win too much. They, they're trusting the process down there in Miami, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, like, they're like the Sixers, huh? Yeah. But, uh, you know, dude, I mean, I, I, he'll find another job. I don't know if it'll be this season. but Yeah, I, I feel the same way. At first, I thought he might. I was telling the hell, I thought he might be done for good. But then now I'm kind of like. I don't know, man. They so thirsty. Yeah. Dude. And who they name? I think did they name they named a team that has done that too, kind of like the Patriots. I can't remember who it was, but uh, let's move along from uh, that. Um, did you see about the the Patriots signing this uh, international pathway player? I thought it was interesting. You know about that? So the international pathway program is basically a pl- uh, a, a, a source for international players to be able to get um, signed to a roster, okay. and it actually allows for an exemption for from the ninety man roster where you can have an extra spot for this player. Oh, okay. And they had one other player that had been overseas that had actually made a team, but they ended up cutting him. They didn't bring him on the practice squad, but they actually brought this dude on the practice squad. So. Okay, cool. And, which I think is real dope for, like, if you play for, like, the London, you know, who, who's the fucks? I don't, I don't know what, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? But, like, yeah. but like that would be cool to have a chance to actually get to the, to the league. Yeah, you know absolutely, I mean? man. I mean, uh, you know, you hear about uh, guys like the 49ers signing rugby players. And, yeah. Uh, I know the Seahawks had a rugby You would play player. rugby, wouldn't you? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, I can see you playing rugby. Dude, I play anything, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got the you got the extreme uh, sports uh, vibe to me. Oh bro. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I really want to do? I want to fly a plane through a hurricane. <laughs> you th- you're not gonna live through that. Are we clear? <laughs> yes, on that? Yes, no, bro. no, there's people no, that do it all the no, time, no, bro. No. I don't believe. I'm that. not gonna fly it. I just want to ride in the plane being flown. We'll get a professional for that. You an adrenaline junkie on the low or something? I think you might be. A little bit. No. I think so. No, no, a little bit. You want to be in a plane in a hurricane? That's not yes, a little bit. Dude. You know what I think is going to be? Yeah, but then you get through into the eye, bro. And it's like, the, have you seen the eye of a hey, you should be. you should be a tornado chaser. Yeah, <laughs> I, I shit you not. My boy, real quick side note, my boy went to KU. I drove with him one summer to, K, to KU. What's up, tornado. Paul? What's cracking? Sorry, what bro, up, man? Bro. Tornado was forming. We chased it, bro, but it never touched down. You ch- What were we going to do when you got there? Watch it, bro. <laughs> this hail was coming down like the size of golf balls, man. <laughs> hey, yo, Paul, oh, if wow. you play fantasy football, man, we on here on YouTube. This is the Benched Podcast and live stream. We're talking about all the picks this week. And we I'm hearing some hilarious stories from my guy, Big Layla. He's a little crazy. Only a little bit, man. Only a little bit. Yeah, I'm, 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 well, I'm wondering <laughs> about that a little bit. The more we hang out, the more I'm learning. It ain't just a little bit. Oh, man. But uh, anyway, let's get back into it. So, t- so let's talk about Gardner Minshew. Oh, this dude? I love this guy. The man. truth. The truth. <laughs> I love this guy, bro. Did you hear he's doing? He was warming up in only his jock strap and aviators. <laughs> like Tom Cruise and uh, Tom Cruise and uh, Top Gun type shit. Yeah, like, yeah. He was warming up in the locker room. There was players saying, "I didn't even know dudes wore jock straps anymore." <laughs> that's like some '80s type yeah. stuff, guy. Type. That's like some Jim McMahon type. Dude, he's you know, just what a mean? character, bro. I love him, man. So he was a six round pick. Yeah. And uh, Foles obviously with his clavicle. Yeah, he, he's out, and so and he's been lighting it up. Gardner Minshew came from uh, Washington with Mike Leach. Before that, though, he was what East Carolina or something. Yeah, it's a smaller school. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So the story I read today, and I read it on, I think it was uh, Sports Illustrated, maybe. 
Gardner Minshew, and you got to give him props for this. He wanted to play so bad an extra year to have the chance to be able to prove himself. He tried to break his hand with a hammer. Yeah. So he's in his dorm room, like. No kidding, man. He's trying to smash his hand with a. Like, that's, that's your kind of crazy, bro. That's how you <laughs> like him, bro. Kind of crazy, bro. That's your kind of crazy, Maybe bro. Maybe that's why I like this guy that's so much. That's what I'm saying. Dude. Exactly. That's, the, that's what I'm oh, saying. Man. So, um, I, I don't know. I, I think it's dope. And also, he just. He just set a record to beat a, a couple records. You, you told me what I didn't yeah, know about. Yeah, it was uh, the highest passer rating for a rookie through his first three games. What was it? Do you remember, remember what it was? No, I don't remember. That's off the top of my head. Uh, and then you said it was the six, first 600 yards? First 600 yard passer within three, three games. games. Yeah, 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 which is really dope. Yeah. Would you pick him up if you didn't have a good QB? I know I would. Uh, in but you said ma- no, though. You said no. Now, see, this is my thing. In certain matchups, the offense is still bad. Leonard Fournette gained 60... He finished the game with sixty nine yard or sixty six yards and a touchdown on fifteen carries. He had a sixty nine yard run. That wow. means his previous fourteen carries were negative Nothing. yardage. Yeah, that's terrible. So is um I never like I never I gotta be honest, I never loved Fournette because yeah. I don't like backs that are I don't like power backs. I don't feel like they're that effective. Neither, um what do you think about his do you think he's a good back though? Fournette? Yeah. No. Uh I think that he had a very short life in the NFL and it's done. Oh wow. Already. Yeah, he's uh that Rodgers pick ain't looking like that made sense, though. Dude, he only threw two touchdowns. <laughs> he's, a, he's a, hold on now. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Um, so what do you, he's on his way. How do you see Jacksonville finishing? Huh? How do you see Jacksonville finishing? Um, I mean, Gardner Minshew's a cool story, man, but it's the league. I mean, You think it's going to go? They'll be a top 10 pick. They'll have a top 10 okay, pick. Okay, wow. So they're they going to finish bottom of the Yeah, they're going to finish bottom. Okay, okay. They're 2-1 right now, right? 1-2. Mm, one one they one just two. got their first one of the season. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's move along. I, I kind of like Gardner Minshew. So I'm gonna be watching that for I sure. I love him, bro. And I would love it. Nothing would make me happier than him becoming a franchise quarterback. I think that's dope. That's what's up. That's what's up. The Tom Brady story is great. And if he has the same kind of story, hell yeah, yeah. let's do it, man. Well, and the thing is, is like in the league, you gotta really like in out of well, you, maybe I don't know about hockey. Maybe you could shed some light on this. But in most of the leagues. In the NFL, you can find like tangible long-term talent further down in the draft. Yeah. I don't feel like you can do that. Maybe in baseball, I don't know about the baseball. The baseball draft is baseball weird. Baseball draft's so, weird, man. Yeah, so I don't know. Hockey draft's kind of the same way. Yeah. I mean, how many second-round picks in the NBA have there been that turned out good? Not many. Isaiah Thomas. Yes. Yeah. And I can't streaky. think of another one off the top of my head right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> so, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely not Tyler Zeller. <laughs> what blows my mind is like in the NBA draft, it's like the top two players, and that's it. Yeah. So you're telling me the the other. You know, well, you know, I mean, guys are you trash. get dudes that can rebound. You know? yeah. <laughs> you get like, role grab some boards. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, let's move along here. So, um, so uh, we're going to go through the games as we talk about this list, okay? So yeah. we got QB of the week, matchup of the week, fantasy matchup, yeah. defense, game of the week. Okay. Your, your pick of the week, the best pick you see on the board, uh-huh. and then the upset of the week. Yeah, sounds good. All right, right. so I'm going to leave that up here so we can. Yeah. So let's get into the schedule this week, man. So, uh up top, so obviously Jacksonville got their first win. We don't need to cover that. Yeah. Cincy and Buffalo kick off tomorrow at All 10 right. in Buffalo. You going Josh Allen, your boy? <laughs> My boy. Your boy, your Buffalo, boy Josh check Allen. Check this out. Buffalo Bills beat Cincinnati here right now. Just a little sneak peek up here. We got New England beating New York. Undefeated New England versus undefeated Buffalo next week. Buffalo's undefeated? In Buffalo, baby. Buffalo's undefeated? Yeah. Hell yeah. They're, they're going to lose that game. Though. What's up? All right, Tom, come on in. All right. All right, guys, quickly, go, go, go. We got kids coming in. <laughs> the sleep overnight over here. <laughs> Say hi. hi. All right. Hey, buddy. You're not in the camera. Keep Are coming. you in the camera? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's running yeah, late. It's just slow. It's lagging. Keep coming Say in. Say hello. More. This is Timmy. This is my stepson, Landon. They're, they're hanging out saying hello. Hi. Making funny faces. All right, guys. All right, see you guys. Later. Um, so you're excited. I'm excited, bro. Are you are you, you a Buffalo want, fan? You, I think you're a Buffalo a little, fan just now. A little. I think you you're a Buffalo fan. Was it because I love nothing more than watching playoff football like pregame and like the fans are slamming each other through tables. Yeah, no. <laughs> it does, it does. Well, and Buffalo's got a pretty good fan base. I mean, they're, they're like because they're they were gonna bro. move. They were gonna move them to at Toronto, one point. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then they went nuts out yeah. there. I, I love them, dude. They're like the sweetheart of the NFL. <laughs> your yeah, I don't think up. anybody else is thinking that. So uh, you're taking Buffalo. Then. I'm taking. I'm taking Buffalo. Uh, Josh Allen. Devil Singletary is out, so look for Frank Gore in this game to get a lot of carries. He was a sleeper. Uh, yeah, yeah. I figured we can just throw everything in right here, man. Sure. Frank Gore. Uh, he's gonna be getting a lot of carries. They're gonna be inefficient, so don't freak out. It's not gonna be big, big blow up plays. It's gonna be like 3.2 yards per carry, but he's gonna get 
Twenty five. He gets a lot of carries. Yeah, he'll get a lot. Of carries. Is uh, so what, I don't know. I, I don't know records. I wish I had records. What is uh? What's Cincy looking like? Uh, one and two. They're one and two. I, I think Cincy's always trash. Yeah. One of my buddies is a really good. Uh, Actually, uh, no. I'm sorry. This is week three. They're uh, zero oh and two. Um, one of my boys is a big Cincy fan, and I feel yeah. for him because I, I I like him enough not to tell him they're always gonna be trash. But is uh, Marvin Lewis still there? No, he's gone, bro. Oh, okay, they good. replaced him with uh, Jesus, Zach Lord. Taylor from the Rams, quarterback coach. Made him the young head coach dude, right? right off the bat. Young yep. dude, right? All right. And he's looking. And what's really interesting to me is he's kind of revitalizing the career of Andy Dalton and John Ross. John Ross, through first three years of the league, looked like he was gonna be four and out, bro. Just that was the the all time combine lowest uh, four two eight. Yeah, that's crazy. And through That's like first, flash at, type shit. At, <laughs> least, uh, at least through the first two weeks, he's looking great, man. So we'll That's see if Zach up. Taylor can keep it up for the. Uh, so you taking Buffalo in this? Oh, I'm taking Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, the defense is good. The offense is great. Give me a little bit of a spread if you can. What do you think? A spread? Yeah. Uh, it'll still be a low scoring game, probably seven. Mm, yeah, seven uh, to three. three no, no, uh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm saying <laughs> seven or three as far as the spread goes. Oh yeah, it was seven. Seven. Uh, okay. I think Buffalo win by a touchdown, maybe twenty-one to fourteen or something. Okay. Like the Buffalo doesn't put up points, so they don't have it. Who are their receivers? They have no. They don't Zay have Jones, any. John Brown, John Brown. I love this. Season. Wasn't he here? He was here. He yeah. was in Baltimore. Yeah. I love him, man. Uh, Josh Allen finally has a deep threat to throw to, and that's John Brown. So he can't throw like eighty yards too. He's got, he's got he's the got best arm in the NFL. Yeah, he's got a gun. <laughs> All right, so you go. It's Buffalo. not accurate. It's not accurate, but he'll throw it the first. <laughs> he can get it out there. Just yeah. find it, yeah. right? He'll, he'll, you know, Buffalo's undefeated. I'm, I'm a co-sign. I don't know a ton, of, a ton about Buffalo. I know I know enough about Cincinnati to not like them, so I'll take Buffalo as yeah. well. Let's move along. Miami, Dallas. Who you got? Dallas. And I think we can. That's it. Bro. No, I got Miami. But, but, <laughs> hey, listen, Miami's a sleeper pick, bro. <laughs> Miami's a sleeper listen, pick. Fire up your Cowboys. Uh, Michael Gallup's out this week. They're undefeated, aren't they? The Cowboys. Yeah. Michael Gallup's out this week with a hamstring tear. So to keep your eye on Devin Smith. He hasn't played since 2016. Uh. But he was formerly a second-round pick Devin, for the Jets. Who the hell is Devin 2015. Smith? 2015. He's a burner, brother. Devin Smith. It sounds familiar. Where did he go to school? You remember? No. But it he sound, was drafted it by the familiar. Jets in the second round of the 2015 draft. Okay. By the he, Jets. He never got it put together. He's fast. Who's that quarterback now that uh, Donald's out? Uh, so it was Trevor Simeon, and then he broke his leg or something like that. So he's now, been in the league a minute. Has he? Trevor Simeon. Yeah, That's an old name, bro. <laughs> uh, Trevor Simeon, and he broke his leg or something, so now it's uh, Luke Falk. No, I'm <laughs> I don't know who that is. Me neither, bro. All, right. <laughs> All right, so we will take Dallas, obviously. Yeah. Do you like? I might have talked about this last week. Do you like Dak Prescott? Uh, you know what's interesting, man? Now that Kellen Moore is taking over as off- offensive coordinator, I love Dak Prescott. Mm. Dak Prescott is throwing it deeper more this year than he ever has in his whole career, and it's really working out for him. I don't like Dak Prescott. I can't That's tell fine. you why. That's fine. I don't. I don't have a real reason to not like him, but he just doesn't I don't like the Cowboys. When I watch him, I just, I just go, nah, I'm good. Yeah, you know, I don't yeah. really like the Cowboys. I mean, but, obviously, but. The world does. I don't know why. I know, man. So, uh, retiree, soon to be uh, Aaron Rodgers, according to you. Nah, <laughs> working on it, bro. And Denver, who you got, bro? It's Green Bay. Yeah. Um, Denver's not good. No. Um, they, they they play. I'm, I'm a little worried about my Bears because that game last week, um, neither team looked very good, but I felt like Denver was in the game way too long. And they should have won. Yeah, they should have won. Dude. That was It th- took last that minute was heroics rid- yeah. by uh, your boy. And he can't pass. No. I think I figured that out. Yeah. I think I, I think <laughs> yeah. finally off the train on By your boy, dude. Uh, Trubisky. Trubisky, man. He was missing some passes. I'm like, yeah, he's not good. Yeah. He's not He's not good. Last minute heroics, man, to and, get that done. And I think time ran out. I don't know that they really had that second. I don't think they did. I don't. I, I think they did that just to be nice. But I, I, the more I looked at it, I'm like, I don't think they really had that time. But um, yeah, I got Green Bay in this. Uh, Geronimo Allison is he somebody people should add? It's it's rough, man. Uh, I loved him in the preseason and like leading up to the season. I, I was a big fan of Geronimo Allison last season before he got hurt. Um, Cause he he was on some sleeper list and he got a touchdown last week, I believe. Yeah, he did. Uh, the problem is, is they've really gotten NBS, uh, oh my God, I'm spacing his name, man. Um, you know, one receiver, of their, running back? yeah, receiver, one of their three named rookies from last year. They took two, Equinemius, St. Brown, and, uh. Whose name is Equinemius? Yeah. Jesus And, Lord. uh, God, man. Shout out to Mar- Marquez Valdez-Scantling, I apologize. Uh, that's who, uh, they're really getting involved. So okay. it looks like Jerome Allison has kind of fell to third on the list because behind Devontae Adams and uh, Marquez. Devontae, yeah, yeah. Devontae. So, and uh, what about Aaron Jones? Uh, I love Aaron Jones, and Malcolm Brown got hurt. Or not Malcolm, uh, not Malcolm Brown. Malcolm, uh, the bat, the other running back. Mm. Why am I spacing his name, man? He's tired, man. We talked about Malcolm. that. Malcolm. Yeah, he's hurt. Oh, good. So it oh, looks good. like Aaron Jones is going to be running the uh, running the rock mainly. Solo, solo dolo by himself, huh? Yeah. All right. 
Um, so I'm taking Green Bay as well. So pick so far, Buffalo, Dallas. Everybody on the right side. Everybody's at yeah. home, too. Um, this is my uh, uh, upset of the week. I mean, I don't know upset of the week, but I think there's going to be upset here because I would assume Atlanta is the favorite. I, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, what's your cover percent of quarterback? But but I think I think uh, Indy's going to win. I agree, actually. I, I don't like Matt Ryan. Yeah, I'm going to lock this you, in as my upset of the week. This is your upset of the week right, right here? I don't like Matt Ryan. I don't okay. like him. That's fair. I'm angry about it. I don't like because I tried to like him for so many years. Yeah, and I was like, I he's a good because co- hey, I watched him at Boston College, so I don't watch a lot of college ball. But he's one of the quarterbacks I actually watched in Boston College, yeah. and I wanted him to be good so uh-huh. bad, and he's yeah. not. He's just so his streaky, arm is man. garbage. Yeah, he is. He, he's okay accuracy wise, but he's just not that great. Yeah, I don't know, man. Mobility just, is zero. You know what's weird, man? It's like this year he's the MVP, and then the following year he's just garbage. Yes, it's like he has to save up for a whole year to get that <laughs> right? talent going. Like he's you know? throwing it. Yeah. I mean, just keep us in the bank. But uh, Indianapolis, man, Jacoby Brissett's not a bad quarterback, and Atlanta's defense is nothing to be afraid of. Does he know? stay their starter for years to come? I kind of feel like everybody likes him. I kind of feel like he's got to... You know, uh, it's weird, man. I think they might fall into another franchise quarterback situation just like they did with Andrew Luck. Um, Indianapolis and Green Bay seem to do that. Yeah. It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> bullshit. bullshit. When Peyton Manning... Left the team and they just drafted Andrew yeah, Luck. I was yeah, like, it's like, wait, what? What? This isn't right. Yeah, what is happening? You don't get twenty years of good quarterbacks. Yeah, <laughs> and they didn't. Uh, yeah, exactly. uh, but um, but uh, they could be look. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to take a quarterback in this next draft. But for this season, I think Jacoby Brissett. I fine. don't think they should take a quarterback. I love Jacoby Brissett. I think they should give. He's got he's got some mobility. He's got a decent arm. Yeah. He's fairly accurate. He makes good decisions. Locker room the wise, they like him. Yeah, you know. And uh, so. Through the first two weeks, the defense has struggled, but they're, this is their home opener. Atlanta has nothing to be afraid of. That offensive line is garbage. The, the Colts will sack Matt Ryan. This is also one of my sneaky defensive plays, fantasy Oh, yeah, wise. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because what really matters is turnovers and sacks, and Matt Ryan's been turning it over the ball. He threw three interceptions last week. How do you feel like uh, Indianapolis will finish the season? Are they, are they better than, like, uh, uh, you know, seven and... No. No? Maybe five, six wins. Really? Yeah. I feel like that's a bit low. I feel like they're even better than that. Uh, maybe, man, but it's going to take luck. What they play? They play 17 games now? 16. 16? I, I mean, they be changing shit. I don't I know. know. No, it's all, all right. 16. So, I, was so, thinking, so, I was thinking. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, they haven't changed that, right? So, I think they fit at 8-8 eight eight, at least. 8-8? Eight eight? Oh. I don't know why. Because, I mean, they're in the South, and who is that? Um, you want to make a bet? You want to put on it? The dub, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 huh? bucks. All right. I say they get less than eight wins. Okay, that um, works. So we got in the South, they got what? Tennessee, they got um, Jacksonville, right? Yep. Um, they could be both those teams, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and then the Saints. No, 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 that's NFC. Uh, Texans. Oh, oh, they're not going to do much good. Yeah, I think they, I think they, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We got a dub on it. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, Baltimore, and this is my game of the week. This right? is my game yeah, of the week. Yeah. And I think we can safely say that, like, this should be everybody's game of the week. Yeah. This is going to yeah, be nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's going to be a lot of points in this yeah. game, man. I can't wait to watch it. I can see this being like 54 to yeah, 45. Yeah, no, no, like, for sure, yeah. for sure. Who you got? I got to go with Baltimore. Of course, you know of that, course, man. of course. I mean, no. uh, in my heart of hearts, it seems like we're almost putting together what Kansas City has been trying to put together. Yeah. And that's, we have this great offense, but we already had that great defense in place. You yeah. know what I mean? So. And I think, so here's something I didn't realize. Lamar Jackson got built. Yeah, he was he was the, yeah muscle, I was bro. looking at him I'm like, that ain't the same string being no. kid. I remember last season he was like, man. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what is he this looked, guy Yeah, doing, he looked man. like a dude you could break yeah. in half. Like, yeah. if you if suplexed him, it'd be done. Yeah, his life. But I, I saw him in an interview and I'm like, oh, he got cut. He did a yeah, little work. Yeah, he did a little work. So, now, like, I didn't realize he was this short. I think because he gained the muscle. Like, you know, like, when you bulk a little bit, you kind of lose a little height. Yeah. Because I was thinking he's a little taller than him, but he's not that tall. He's like, what, probably six foot, maybe? No, I thought he was like six two, six three. It's not looking like he might be. It's just not looking like it. I don't know. But um, so you taking Baltimore? Yeah. I mean, listen, it's a toss up, bro. <laughs> I would say Lamar is my quarterback of the week. Is it? Yeah, because yeah. I feel like they're gonna be all we throw in is gonna be a high scoring game, and I th- I think my my opinion, I think Lamar Jackson is a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes. What? I do. Wow. I do. And the I reason mean, I and the reason, I love it, but and the reason to feel that way is because I think Lamar makes more plays in the pocket, whereas. Uh, Mahomes moves to improvise way too often. Yeah, and does. maybe it's because of the team he has around him. Yeah. You know, but I, but I feel like as a, as a pocket presence, I feel like he's more, he throws more darts. Yeah. So I could be wrong. You but know, this, Lamar just worked his ass off this weekend, or this past offseason, man. Yeah. Like, you missed that a few times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just, I, I love it, man. When a kid wants to get better and it's like his only desire. Yeah. I yeah. want him to be the best quarterback. He, it was a play I watched in, 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 in the game last week. I don't know what happened, but he like got mad. He like he like threw his man. He was like mad, and I'm like, that's good. Yeah. Like you want your quarterback because I have had 
eight years of Jay Cutler, right? Or yeah. damn near ten, it felt like. Yeah. And he was never that, he was never that mad. Was, no. eh, shit, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Anybody got some scotch? I, yeah. I'm not really too. So how do you feel about like the national pundit saying this is the next Brady Manning, Lamar and Mahomes is the next great rivalry in the NFL? I don't know that Mahomes is going to be good that long. I do think Lamar. I like I like Lamar Jackson when he was he was a Cincy, right? Yeah. I, I liked him back then. So I'm like that dude. Oh no, when he was in Louisville. L- Louisville. Yeah, I, don't, Louisville. I get the, the fucking black jerseys. Yeah. Um, the jerseys I, I, I've liked him yeah. for a long time, yeah. and I remember watching him going. That kid is going to be really good, and I think he's going to be. Yeah. Um, Mahomes. I don't know. I just feel like Mahomes is such a wild card because I think he relies on the strength of his arm a lot. I think he relies on his escapability a lot, and I don't. They have a good team around him. I think in Baltimore you have. I don't know. They're. They're in the same division, obviously, with the Steelers, and I feel like the way that the teams in that division, outside of the two terrible ones, structure their teams are, are more on, like, they structure for the long term. So yeah. I don't think they're going to let him get hurt. I don't think they get beat up. I feel like Andy Reid likes to go crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I think... I don't really believe that. I don't think... I mean, if it is... If what I said in the beginning was true is that we've done what Kansas City wanted to do, have a great defense and a dynamic offense, I think Andy Reid goes his whole career without winning a ring, bro. I don't. I don't think that he's ever put the emphasis on having a good defense. No, and he you can't has. just score on people you forever. Can, it doesn't what's work. What's crazy is like, how long has that fool been in the league? Like thirty five years. He's been in the league, and he still has clock management problems, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's got his own coaching tree. Yeah. You know, you have your own coaching tree. You've been around like maybe even too long. Mm-hmm. I, you know, if, if he was actually hired on as somebody's offensive coach, that would be yeah. perfect. He's, um, a, he's a brilliant offensive mind, bro. Yeah. But at the end of the day. Defense does win championships, man. It does. No, it's yeah. a fact. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm – oh, man. I actually am going to go Kansas City in this game. Right. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that there's going to be some kind of guffaw where where Baltimore slips up, but I don't know. I, but I just – I don't know. I know Kansas City can score fast. Yeah. I mean, last week they scored 28 in like six minutes, it felt like. It was all in one quarter. Yeah, right? and it was just ridiculous. So, um, I'm going to go Baltimore. I'm going to go Kansas City. You're going Baltimore on that one. Yep. Uh, and is, is this your game of the week? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think it should be, be everybody's game of the week. Yeah, bro. it's going to be fantastic. It's, it's going to be amazing. amazing. And both undefeated teams, right? No, no, yeah. Kansas City lost one, didn't they? No. no uh, both no. undefeated? Okay. Yeah. Um, this this game to me is going to be the most boring game of the week. If we, if we had a, a category for that, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be a sleeper to me. Yeah. Oakland and Minnesota, who you got? Minnesota wins, man. Yeah. Only people I'm interested in this game are... Uh... Josh Jacobs? Yeah, you got to monitor his health. He had some... Uh, he had a oh, that's right. right. He, he said he lost like 15 pounds, bro. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? So you got to monitor oh. yeah, in a week. You got to monitor that uh, monitor that situation. That's like a, that's like a Mexican tape. Yeah. Board. <laughs> I, mean, I think he's going to be good to go. But Minnesota is not a great matchup anyway. That's a pretty strong defense. But we'll see what happens. Uh, and obviously Dalvin Cook, man. I'm really nervous about Kirk Cousins. I can't play Kirk Cousins actually. So a couple of the uh, more notable um, um, uh, fantasy pundits, uh, Barry and Phil Yates, yeah. are saying Cousins got to break out game. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're saying. I don't know that I believe. I just don't see it, bro. Here's my thing. I like. I feel like Kirk Cousins. I liked him too. I hate when I like quarterbacks and let me down. I feel the same way about Ryan Ryan because I like Kirk Cousins. I feel like he's an accurate thrower. I feel like he can throw it down the field to some degree. He's not like one of the you know. You know, he's only won like three or four games against like winning teams. Didn't know that. Yeah, like teams over five. Kind of reinforces how I feel now. Yeah. Um. So you're going Oakland. Uh. No, I'm going Minnesota off their defense alone. Okay. But uh, what I'm saying is, you need, like, I don't trust Kirk. I don't, it's not only Kirk Cousins' fault, but this coaching staff doesn't want him throwing the ball. It's almost like they don't trust him. So, would you, would you let him? They called no. him an $82 million game manager. Did they? I'll take that check. Yeah. Let me go out there and see what I can do. <laughs> exactly. I can throw the ball 10 times. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Targets, I, I can give some handoffs yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. Get it right in his Dude, chest. No I'll hand off to Dalvin Cook and I'll leave the ball. <laughs> <laughs> even, if that, do that even if that means I'm just throwing myself at somebody's feet, man. You that's know what I'm saying? That is but, hilarious. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I got Minnesota in this game. That's what's up. Um... I'm gonna go opposite you. I'm gonna take Oakland. So we're gonna we're gonna have some different. Our, our uh, this, this this will be the game where our what you call it, the the weeks are the people I do like in Oakland is Darren Waller. He's still getting high he's hurt target. though, right? I thought I saw uh, he, Waller. He yeah, I, oh, I thought I, I saw that. Yeah, I, I thought I saw that. that. I don't and know I didn't. Shares in we may have to go through our. Uh, I, I didn't put together a what you call it list. We're gonna have to go through that uh, here uh, briefly. Our out list. But uh, yeah, I'm actually go Oakland. Um, I don't know. I just I don't like Minnesota. I don't trust them, man. And maybe it's just because I watched some of that Minnesota Green Bay game, and I was like, y'all y'all aren't good. Yeah, you know. Uh, okay, uh, moving along, New York, New England. This Patriots is uh, it's fairly 50. simple. 50? No, it doesn't matter, man. <laughs> <laughs> they have Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the line on this game is like, uh, what did I read? 21 and a half points or something like that? Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm obviously taking New England as well. Is there anybody on the, the, the Jets to shoot a roster? Le'Veon Bell. Okay. The obvious name. Yeah. Uh, Sam Darnold, when he comes back, uh, look for Robbie Anderson to be available on your waiver wires. Uh, I think that was People are going to get tired of Robbie, waiting for Robbie Anderson. So. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then also, this is a little bit of a sleeper tip. Chris Herndon is suspended for the first four weeks. Their bye week is week four. So week six, you're going to get a top ten potential tight end coming back to uh, to the New York Jets. And by then, Sam Darnold will be back. Somebody asked to throw to him as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Shouts to uh, Peach Songbird. If you like fantasy man. football, oh, I think they left. All right. Um, that's what's up. Okay, so uh, Detroit and Philly. Detroit and Philly. I have Detroit in this game. Deshaun Jackson's out. Uh, Alshon that. Jeffrey's going to be... Is Aguilar a good, a good receiver? Well, yes. I've you think always so? liked Nelson Aguilar. He's streaky, but, man. But what, you, know, well, the, you know what pisses me off? He drops passes, too. They put up, they play him in like not his good position, man. Like he's a slot receiver. Yeah. And they they force him outside and he fails at being outside. Yeah. Let that dude play out of the slot, man. Let, let him be where he needs to be. Yeah, exactly. That's a fact. That's a fact. I feel like I would want to put my players wherever the highest chance for them to succeed. If you're a slot receiver, if you get me my first down, that's all that matters to me. I don't yeah. care if you go for the touchdown. You know what I mean? Yeah. They As usually. A head coach. I feel like he's too big to be a slot receiver, though. How big is he? I don't know, like but I, I just go off six eyeballs. Three. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Though. No, because I don't know. I, I think of like for whatever reason, I think of like New England's type slot receivers. Oh, you know, the little dudes. That's that the old just, school slot receiver. Yeah, okay. Things right. are changing, man. They're putting big body but quick guys in the slot. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, okay. I, I don't like Aguilar, but that, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Detroit. Uh, who you like on Detroit? You like anybody? Kerryon Johnson, bro. Yeah. They cut. Uh, Why did they not win games? I feel like I don't feel like Stafford is awful. I just I don't either. I, feel I just like, don't know uh, that he Matt knows. Patricia's an idiot, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't he a Patriots? Uh, yeah, he was the Patriots defensive coordinator. They finally cut uh, C.J. Anderson. who That guy's trash, bro. And I don't know how he keeps getting chances. I read an article on him. Yeah. And it was talking about how, how quickly he's been cut with teams. Yeah. And it's actually kind of, reading it made me it's sad. sad <laughs> reading it made me sad for but him. But he's trash. Just let him retire. He's not good, man. Yeah. You know why he was good in L.A.? Because everybody's good in L.A. He was good in Denver, too, didn't he? Like, he was all right in Denver, bro. <laughs> Should he be bagging groceries? You're like, he should be bagging groceries somewhere. Yeah. He should yeah. be bagging He's groceries. He's going to be great in Denver in Albertsons. <laughs> Sub Kroger. Yeah. But uh, carry on Johnson, I love in this game. Take a look for uh, Ty Johnson, who's the new backup running back. We'll see what he's got. Johnson. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's going to have any fantasy value, but I think he's going to be a good player. Uh, Kenny Galladay, I love. Marvin I Jones. wish I had drafted him. I had a chance in yeah. pass, and that was a bad call. Yeah, Marvin, Marvin Jones, Jones is good, too. He don't get enough burn, though. I feel like he needs to be somewhere else. Yeah. I, I, I think he could be a great receiver. And then keep your eye on TJ Hawkinson, their rookie uh, tight end. I heard about he him. had that yeah. great week, week one against Arizona. Had a really bad week last week, so let's see if he can bounce back here. I feel like... Uh, Marvin Jones Jr. has hands too. I, feel oh, like he, he I, hands, I think bro. he needs to be somewhere where he can be more effective. Yeah. So you're taking uh, Philly. I'm, I'm taking, actually no. I'm taking Detroit. You, okay, good. I, I, Philly's not, too hurt, bro. I'm taking they Detroit canceled, as well. They canceled their Wednesday practice just because people were. Hurt. They canceled it. Canceled. Yeah, I don't worry. Go home. We're yeah, good. Take a rest. We're good. Take a break. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm going to Detroit as well. I don't know. I don't like Philly this year, and I don't. I don't love Carson Wentz, man. I don't know why people are so high on Carson. Wentz. I don't. I don't love him. I don't love him either, bro. I just feel like he's semi-accurate. I don't like dudes that can't really chuck it. I just I'm not into that. If you can't throw the ball down the field, I'm good, man. Yeah, like I wouldn't matter, yeah. I wouldn't draft a QB that couldn't do that. All right. Carolina, Arizona. This is my upset of the week. All right. I think Arizona wins the game. I don't know what the line is, and actually they, they, it may be really close. But um Cam is out, and you were right. You yeah. called it. You called that like jump street. First yeah. first thing we talked about on the the first uh, podcast, you were like, nah, it's not right. Something yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah something wrong with him. Yeah. Um who you taking? Arizona. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Kyler Murray, dude. Those few, these first two weeks have been absolutely outstanding. Yeah, they didn't win the games, but like, and you know what's ironic in this is Kyler Murray is the first quarterback since Cam Newton to throw three hundred yard, come out with back to back three hundred yard games. Wow, as a rookie. Wow. So uh, he seems to have a little swagger too. I yeah. feel like you need a little swagger. I feel like you can't be swagger lit. You gotta have a little of that. Like, I got this. It's yeah, cool. yeah. He's got that. He's got that mojo. And he's about a competitor, him. bro. And you can tell. You can tell that every time he fails out there, it burns him. Bro. Oklahoma quarterback, right? Yep. Yeah, like he came that. out of Oklahoma. Like and what's funny is Kyle Allen, the guy who's gonna be starting for Carolina, beat Kyler Murray out for the job at Texas A and M. So <laughs> he got a little revenge on the mind. Like, I'm about to go in and torch yeah, dude. So we'll see what happens with that. You know, it'll be, it'll be a little fun. And Kyle Allen's a local kid here to Arizona. Where so, do you go to school? Uh, Mountain Point, I think they said. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, Very interesting. Mountain Point or Desert Point, one of the two. My thing is, uh, who does they have? I don't like teams that don't have receivers. And I don't feel like Carolina has any receivers. Oh, dude, they got receivers. DJ Moore, 
Curtis Samuel. I don't know about Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel. Wasn't he in Buffalo? No, no, no. He was drafted by the Panthers two years ago. Second round pick. Was he hurt? Yeah. First year he was hurt. This year he's out. He's running. So they have unproven receivers. He's running great routes and he's fast, man. So they have unproven receivers. Listen. (laughs) So they have unproven receivers. If Cam Newton was healthy, Curtis Samuel would be. Cam Newton's not that good of a quarterback. You like him. When he's healthy? Yeah. Come on, man. He's not that accurate. (laughs) It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that he extends the play. No, that's true. No, and, that, and that's a good point. That's why and he's failing sitting in the pocket because he's not a pocket quarterback. But when he extends the play, things get broken. I, don't, I want a quarterback that can sit in the pocket first. That's why I like your boy Lamar. Yeah, sit in the pocket first. Yeah, and then that's why I like Aaron Rodgers because he makes he does all the little things. Tom Brady does this: two steps to the left, two steps to the right, maybe one step up. Yeah. It's the little shit. It's not the whole. Let me break it for twenty yards. And NFL, that's not a real thing. You do it once or twice, then you, you know get your head taken though? Tony Romo. Tony Romo would get out of that okay, pocket. Okay, real quick. Tony I mean, Romo would get out of that pocket bro, quick, bro. Tony Romo should still be in the league. I agree. I, I didn't I, like the fact that he's not in the league, man. Yeah. I don't like that. I, I mean, he could, me. Towards the end, he wasn't staying healthy, but I loved him, bro. I, I like Tony Romo a lot, I thought he was a great too. quarterback. I like Tony Romo a yeah, lot, too. Man. People gave him a hard time, and yeah. I, I didn't necessarily understand it. So we were going to Arizona in this one. Mm-hmm. This is, like I said, this is my upset of the week. This game is the tr- – so I, I talked about a game earlier being a trash game of the week. Yeah. Th- this is like – Right oh. there too. This is this is bad team. Why do you even air this? I, I was trying to get out of this. Tampa and New York. Who you got? Tampa. Yeah. James Wilson's yeah. garbage. But the thing that's gonna be interesting about watching this game is we got uh we got uh Daniel Jones starting f- for the New York Giants. Eli Manning's been benched, he's lost his job. Good. He should retire. Yeah. I would retire right after that. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. I so, got my two rings. We got the rookie we're getting rolled out, number six overall pick. We'll see how it goes. How do you feel it's Tom Brady letting Eli beat you twice? Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he should have eight rings. Yeah, he should have eight rings, bro. Yeah. It's the Eli. Uh, Eli. Uh, but Eli can own a car dealership in New York and make a lot of money. Yeah, so. he's going to be fine. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I got Tampa Bay in this. Uh, is there anybody outside of, uh, let's say, Saquon and I guess Sterling that you'd own for, from, from New the York? Giants? Yeah. Dynasty yeah, I, Leagues, obviously, you're owning Daniel Jones. Of course, he was drafted. You think he's going to be good? I don't know. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. He looked fair. great. He looked great in preseason, but guess what? Everybody looks great in preseason. Right. So I could go out there and playing play against the first string guys. Yeah. Know, yeah right. Right. So. Dudes that'll yeah. be a garbage garbage yeah. man the next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, and, and, and same question for Tampa. Is there anybody there that shoot roster? Uh oh, absolutely. Mike Evans. Pe- people are down on him right now. But nobody. They, he can't get the ball to him though. Right, let's take it easy. All right. Sorry. I'm just saying. I know. It's frustrating. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I hate it. I'm frustrated. I feel like they have players. They got Godwin. They got great. Dude. Chris Godwin. Yeah, but like Chris dude. Godwin's playing the Larry Fitzgerald role from from Bruce Arians' offense here in Arizona. I love it. He, he's balling out. Do they have a good backup? Because I want I want Winston out of there. I don't know. Go exactly stand on the table and yell at though. somebody again, man. I'm I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of James. I know, so, man. Dude. But you know, like he missed Mike Evans on a touchdown in the end zone. I think it's gonna work itself out, man. So as to where he gets better. Yeah, I mean he's not gonna be. 20, 30 point a game, Mike Evans, where he's balling out, catching two, three touchdowns. But I think he, I think Winston can get him a touchdown here and there, especially against the New York Giants defense that's garbage, bro. That whole team's garbage. Who you think? You think Tampa? Yeah, they're trusting the process too. You know what I'm saying? Saquon is Sterling back this week. Do we know? I haven't heard. Mm, okay. I think I read some. I don't like Tampa Bay, man. I don't like Tampa. I think I'm going to New York. You think Daniel Jones can do it? I do. I do. I'm I'm, I'm going to New York on this one. So we got a lot. I'd be interested to see how it plays out. We got a lot of different joints in this one. So uh, Houston, this should be a pretty good game. Houston and LA? Yeah. Yeah, I like it, bro. Who you got? Somehow the Chargers always just end up winning 13 games, bro. Is is Phillip Rivers the most underrated quarterback of all time? No. (laughs) I feel like he's kind (laughs) of underrated, though. He's underrated, but I don't think he's the most underrated of all time. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, dude. I feel like he's up there at least. Top five? Um, yeah, top five most underrated? Absolutely. Because, cause, I mean, the dude's been good for a long time. And he's they've had winning seasons in L.A. more than they should have. Oh, absolutely, dude. And if, if I had a choice right now to take him, I would. I, he's going to win you some games. I mean, he's the only starter from that quarterback class left, right? I think so. Yeah, Eli just lost his job and Big Ben is... Got the, the old chicken wing problem. Are you happy about that? Oh, fucking dude. What were they calling Ben Ra- Ra- Rapers Burger yeah, for a while? I've always called him Worthless Burger. <laughs> I hate he's that. Got, he's got one ring, right? Ben? Yeah, just one. Okay, I got you. Um, Maybe two. No, he's got two. He's got two? He's got two. Hmm. He beat the Packers. That's good. And he beat the Seahawks? Maybe. Did he beat the Seahawks? I thought I had one, but I, you might be right about two. I don't Tomlin know. has one, and 
Bill. Oh, and Bill Cowher. Bill Cowher has one, and he was the starter for Bill Cowher. So. Oh, that was like his early. That was his rookie season, wasn't it? Didn't he win his rookie season? Or was the one after that? I think it was the one after. Okay. Okay. Um, who are you thinking? Houston. You like Deshaun Watson. I like Deshaun Watson. I love Deshaun Watson. I like Watson. him a lot. Yeah. I love Will Fuller. I love DeAndre Hopkins. I love Kiki Kuti, who just can't get involved because he's always hurt, man. Mm. I love the whole Houston's team. And they got a good D still. The they D got is a still, D. It's still good. Uh, um, and for some reason, all of a sudden, Carlos Hyde is balling out again. Like he's back in San Fran. So I don't know what's going on with that team, but it seems to be working out. Hitting them steroids. Late, yeah. late, late in life steroids. I'm yeah, going to take Houston too. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is going to actually be a closer game. Than, than, yeah, I think than it's going to be a good matchup, man. Yeah, I think this yeah. is probably going to be seven or less. Uh, this will be interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm going San Fran the next one. Pittsburgh and San Francisco. Who you got? Uh, I got San Francisco too. That Kyle Shanahan offense is so. Good. I think I think um, the uh, San Francisco offense may have a lot of people to pick up on your fantasy squads that people aren't paying attention to. I could, just because I think they're actually better than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I mean, Debo Samuel is catching a lot. Of, is getting a lot of looks mm-hmm. out there, and he's a rookie. Uh, drop Dante Pettis. He's garbage. He's done. Get him out of there. He's not working out this year, so Garbaggio. Yeah, uh, very for, definitive. For whatever that. reason, man, he can't break through into this offense. So yeah. I know a lot of people last season were hyped on him, but it's not working out. Uh, so let that go, huh? Pittsburgh starting Mason Rudolph at quarterback. Who is he? Do you know him? I don't remember what school he went to, man. But he was a second round pick for uh, for him last year. Expected to be Big Ben's heir apparent. He that, he's a bigger dude too, ain't he? I think. Oh yeah, he's like six five. Yeah, he's a big. He went dude. to college with James Washington, so keep your eye on this. Because James Washington is the third string receiver for the uh, for the Steelers. Steelers, so he actually probably moved up in the number two spot after Dante Moncrief dropped every target he's ever received in his whole career. Uh, he's so, so bad. He's so bad. He was bro. bad in Indianapolis, oh though. Oh my god, he's so yeah, bad. He's terrible. He's so terrible. yeah, keep your eye on James Washington this week because Mason Rudolph and him have a good connection. Same also with Vance McDonald. This is Mason Rudolph's. You know, this is his. First run through. So he's going to be dumping all the time, yeah. man. Tight ends are always a release get, valve, yeah. man. He found him yeah. on two touchdowns last week, so keep your eye on this week. Who you got? Uh, San Fran, because I will always pick against the Steelers. <laughs> I respect it. I respect hey, we're it. coming here for unbiased commentary, bro. I re- no, I respect it. I respect and, it. I'm, uh, taking, I'm taking San Fran. My unbiased comment is fuck the Steelers. So. All right. <laughs> the, fl- the flag has been waved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, uh, New Orleans and Seattle. I like Teddy Bridgewater. I'm, I'm gonna lead this. I off love Teddy. Yeah, Bridgewater. I like Teddy Bridgewater. When that I thought injury, he got a bad deal oh in uh, in, uh, in Minnesota. When that knee injury happened, yeah, I've never yeah. felt worse for yeah. a player yeah. than Teddy Bridgewater. I thought he got a bad deal in. Yeah, uh, that killed him, bro. Yeah, I think he's good. I think he's poised. I like, that's what I like the most about him. He doesn't seem to get too rattled. No, he, he seems very calm all the time. And I like a quarterback that can just be like yeah. taking the moment. That's what I like about Russell Wilson. Yeah. Is that he could just kind of take it in and not be like. You know, crazy about it. Yeah. Except for in the Super Bowl at the winning line. That's, that's <laughs> not the point, though. Uh, who you got? Uh, you know what? I'm going to take New Orleans, man, because I believe in yeah. Teddy. Yeah. I believe in Teddy. I believe in Michael Thomas. I believe in... Uh, he gets the ball out quickly. He's fairly accurate. Yeah, I, th- I think he's not a Did bad Did you ever see that video of when he first took the field again after his injury for the for the Vikings? No. Oh, it was beautiful, man. Yeah, people he, yeah, cheering all that. No, the whole stadium around That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think he would still be the start. And then they brought in Bradford right there. Where's Sam Bradford now? Is he back in groceries oh, is somewhere? <laughs> is, is he a car insurance Is he back in groceries, bro? He's been cashing $10 million checks for doing nothing he for got the past paid. six years. Yeah, he got bro. paid. He's yeah. probably on a boat somewhere right <laughs> now. Yeah, He's like, these fools, my ACL never healed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they did give him $10 million quick, didn't they? Yeah. They thought he was going to be the answer. Yeah. He was not like, the answer. It's, it's, dude, yeah, he's been chilling. And we got a question. Shouts to Jared. Oh, uh, man. Shaira, should I drop McLaurin or Ross for Deshaun Jackson? Well, Deshaun Jackson is hurt. Yeah, absolutely not, man. No, McLaurin and Ross are both, like, they're finally trending up, man. I mean, McLaurin obviously is a rookie. He might be the number one target on that team, though. So, absolutely not, dude. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Jerry, thanks for being here, man. Hit us with a like. Hit us with a subscribe, man. And we'll be doing this every week. The homie Big Lay Law was out there hanging with the homies and, and dropped in to make sure we got this done. So, I got a lot of respect yeah. for that. Um, Always, brother. All right, so uh, you say you're taking New Orleans? Yeah, I'm taking New Orleans, and it might just be I'm picking with my heart, but I love Teddy. Nah, nothing wrong with that. I'm taking it. I'm taking Teddy Seattle. I'm taking Seattle. No, nah, nothing yeah, wrong with that, bro. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so last one is LA and Cleveland. I think this is fairly simple. Who are you taking? Don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's the Rams, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Cleveland uh, back? I feel like Cleveland's I back. I don't know, man. I'm still waiting to see. So... I haven't watched, I'll be honest, I haven't watched any of their games. Have you watched any? Yeah, I've watched. Uh, what does I'm the wa- problem look like it is? <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's rough, dude. Baker Mayfield's missing passes. He's panicking in the pocket. 
And last season, he seemed really poised, man, coming as a rookie. So, And they're not getting Jarvis Landry involved. That was actually got something the, I just yeah, read. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah, this yeah. new shiny weapon, and it's great, man. And obviously, OBJ is a game-breaker. But Jarvis Landry is one of the best receivers in the league at moving the chains. Yeah. And Possession receivers are important, folks. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the most important roles on the yeah, whole team, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it might not be the most flashy thing, but if you put the ball anywhere near Jarvis Landry's hands, he's going to catch it, dude. Yeah. So get that man involved. Win some games. Is there O-line? People, is there any... Do you know about any injuries on their O-line or maybe their O-line is... Their something? O-line's struggling. Suspect. I don't know about okay. any injuries. Yeah. Uh, Los Angeles, a lot of people have been asking me personally, like my personal friends, man, do you think I should stream somebody over Jared Goff this week? Cleveland's stats are a little deceptive, right? They're looking really good against the quarterback, but they played Marcus Mariota and they played Trevor Simeon slash Luke Falk. So, Marcus Mariota, he's hot garbage. He's, he's terrible. You don't like Mariota? Bro... Did you watch that Thursday night game? Or what? Where did he go to school? Hawaii? <laughs> he went to Oregon. It Oregon. Uh, I think he is Hawaiian. I think <laughs> yeah, he is Hawaiian. But, uh, so, don't worry about Goff. He's got the weapons. He is worse on the road, but I'm, I'm willing to play him in this matchup. Don't don't freak out and think you're going to get a better performance out of Jameis Winston or any... Or, do not play Jameis Winston. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like going to say that right now. Thinking about streaming Daniel Jones on his first career start, don't do it. Play Jared Goff. He's in a good system with a good coach. Yeah, and he's got weapons. I mean, weapons, the thing bro. is, if people can get open and you can th- throw the ball, you'll yeah. get him the ball. I mean, uh, Tyler know. Higby's going to be out of this game, so look for Gerald Everett if you need to absolutely flex a t- or uh, stream a tight end. But uh, that's like a bottom barrel play. But so. all right, all right, we got that Monday night game too. That yeah, you're overlooking. you know I'm going. No, I wouldn't. I'm not overlooking. No, no, no. Uh, I got Chicago. <laughs> you got Chicago, Chicago against. Of course, the- I got Chicago. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's going on with Mr. Biscay, dude? God, he missed a lot. I mean, he missed a lot. He was one, I think it was to, I think it was to Allen Robinson. And he was wide open. I mean, he was so open. I'm like, oh, this is not. And then he just, he just overthrew him. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. And maybe he's just not that accurate. I mean, maybe that's just part of the problem. But he doesn't put enough air on the ball, in my opinion. Yeah. He just tries to get it too, like, he tries to, I, he's throwing it too hard, I guess. I don't know. But it just doesn't look good. You think he's bad? I think he. You think he's going to get this figured out? Ah, yeah, I do. You do? Not to this be, season. Not this season. Do you and it's going to and it's gonna be up to the Bears to be patient. Yeah. Because I do feel like if you give him a full year this season and let him come back next year, no matter how he does, I do think he turns around. I do. Because yeah. you learn the NFL, you start getting used to speed. You start getting used to how your receivers run your routes. This is his third year now. Right. Right. Wow. We gave color like nine. <laughs> <laughs> we gave color like nine seasons, bro. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know. You give a bum forever, so come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not starting. Mm, I would start Allen Robinson in this game. I'm not starting Robinson. I'm thinking about taking that because I got Cooks. I got um. I got uh. We'll, we'll talk about it. I want to get to our, into our lineups, but I don't think I'm gonna start Robinson. You don't think we're starting? No, I don't think right. I'm starting. But anyway, go on. Well, I would start Robinson. I mean, not everybody has better choices than that. You know what I mean? Right. I, yeah, and I and I do. So that's why I'm. Yeah, I hear you. But who you taking in the game? Oh, Chicago, bro. I oh, appreciate that. That defense right. is too good. Uh, That's just about to be disrespectful right in front of me. Who's my boy over there uh, in Washington, man? <laughs> who's that fool? He was Denver starting quarterback last season. Oh, uh, Case? K- yeah, Young Case, Case Keenum, bro. Young Case? That guy is trash, man. You like Case Keenum? Get him off the field. Just let your rookie start. Let him start getting his bumps, man. Forget about it, dude. Who's that rookie? Uh, oh, God. The kid from Ohio State last year, uh, Dwayne Haskins. Is he good? No. Okay. He's trash. So you so get him out there anyway. Run him out. Run him out. Run him out. Let him find out what you got, though. Yeah, that's true. Figure it out. So. It's not that he's trash. It's that he is going to struggle. And you got to get that shit out of the way. So the more yeah. you delay it, yeah. the worse yeah. you're going to be. Man. Especially not because... You know, like, Casey you know, has a good seasons though, didn't he? He had, like, two or three good seasons. Yeah. But oh, with Dwayne Haskins... I mean, Dwayne Haskins is the guy of the future. What they want to be the guy of the future. They draft him, like, 11, 12th overall. Do you cut Case Keenan for Kirk Cousins? Isn't that what they did in Minnesota? Didn't they, they get rid of... Oh, same thing. Yeah. Cut, trade, whatever. Same yes, thing. I do. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know that I do. Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback than Case Keenum. But yeah, but not. he has some magic with the team. They bought into it, man. But he's not a better winner. And he's not worth $82 million. <laughs> <laughs> 82 million dollars game manager. Go uh, through your roster. Okay, so how are you? So if, y- if y'all don't know, the, the homie Big Layla is a fantasy, uh, like, you know, a stalwart. You got four four leagues popping. So how you doing in your leagues? Give us your rundown. Uh, let's see, bro. I got one team. Oh, I won all four week, all four leagues this week. Oh, actually, bro, that's crazy. Yeah, that how often does that happen? Better. Not often. Oh yeah, okay. Like, I didn't think it happened. <laughs> I mean, I, that's a lot of yeah. yeah that's a lot I of wins. won all four this past week. 
So that felt good, man. Dynasty, that felt good to win. I was trying to work a trade for Lamar, but this for Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I was willing to give up Dalvin Cook. It's a dynasty league. I was willing to give up Dalvin Cook, move some pieces. I'm going to trade some picks for him. And uh, no, just didn't no love it. He wanted wide receivers. So, I'm going to, because my quarterback situation over in Dynasty is bad. Rough, dude. I got Kirk. 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 I'm a, can you turn the stream off? I don't want to. I don't want, to <laughs> I don't want people to hear this. <laughs> I don't want this to go out to the it's world. It's a two QB league, bro. I'm starting Kirk Cousins and Joe Flacco. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I got Josh Rosen on my bench. He just got named the starter. I'm How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> bad Your things. guess is as good bad, as mine, Bad things brother, took man. place. Bad things Your took place. Your guess is as good as mine. But, uh, yeah, so I've been trying to work some trades in that league. How you been doing? 0-2. Oh, 0-2, oh, man. Uh, I'm at the one league. No, I'm not at the level you're at, bro. You're, at, you're, like, you're, like, you're like the last boss in the game, bro. I'm like, I'm like the second one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but uh, so this week I'm going, uh, and tell me what you think about it. I'm going to go through my starters, and then I'm going to just tell me what you think if I should change uh, anything up. I got Brady, Connor. From uh, Pitt, Pittsburgh, uh, Ingram, Juju, Fitzgerald, Olsen, Cooks, Rams defense, and Justin Tucker. And on my bench, O.J. Howard, Allen Robinson, Tavis Murray, Breeze is obviously out. I may just dump him or trade him or try to do Get something. Get rid of him, dude. He's not going to be back Just dump him. Yeah. Week 10. And I got Cobb, Montgomery, and uh, Thompson. So the change I'm thinking about making is I, I was thinking about putting in uh, Thompson for Connor because I just don't know what he's going to do, and he's banged up a little bit. Uh, oh, that's so and hard. I think against the Bears, I mean, the Bears have really good defense, though. But I know he's going to see a lot of screen passes. And if he can break some, you know. <sighs> I'd stay with Connor, dude. Yeah, okay. I hadn't made the change yet. Yeah. I considered I it, and I was like, yeah. Chris Thompson is an interesting play, but I don't see it against the Bears, dude. Yeah, okay. I'll stay with what I got. Who, who you running out? Pick one of your, pick one of your squads. Uh, and let me know who you running out. I'm rolling with uh, Sugjual Healing, bro. You know, that's my team name. Is that your team name across all four leagues? Oh, uh, you know Suggs is here, right? You're going to go meet him? Yeah, I should go meet him. You up. should, yeah. Uh, one of them's Jackson's five turnover. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. But uh, that's my dynasty league name. But this is Sugjual Healing. Uh, you know, I'm rolling out uh, Pat Mahomes at quarterback, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Calvin Ridley, Josh Brown, Carryon Johnson, Miles Sanders, which I'm nervous about. I keep waiting for him to break out. But I, I don't really have good options at running back. I, yeah. Obviously, as you can tell here, I went very wide receiver heavy at the yeah, top of the yeah, draft. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, this is a keeper league. That's why I have Pat Mahomes. I was able to keep him in the That's late beautiful. rounds. But uh, Evan Ingram at tight end. Uh, Marvin Jones Jr. I'm rolling out there. Debo Samuel I'm rolling out there. I got Will Fuller in one of my flex positions, but I might be trading him out for uh, somebody Oh, this might still be on the waiver wire. I gotta take a look. Oh yeah, you. I, I like to flex. I like to stream and look at last positions there, but we'll see, man. Uh, I want to play Geronimo Allison because I'm desperate for him to be good, but I don't think. I gotta feel like he's gonna be okay, man. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, you don't I see. I don't him? believe in Aaron Rodgers anymore, so. I think you're wrong on that. And I don't think you're wrong about a lot, but I think you're wrong on that. Sorry, I do. Dude. I do. And I hate saying that as a I Bears be the man. First one. I want you to be so if you were right, I would sing your praises. I want to be the first one, bro. Plant the flag. I say Aaron Rodgers on his way. Because they're what? They're two and zero, oh, right? Uh no, I think they're one and one. No, because they beat the Bears and they beat the Vikings. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bears so. suck. <laughs> My soul is hurting right now. Alright, let's get into some sleepers. I just want to plant that flag, bro. Aaron Rodgers on his way down. Period. I don't think so. Well, I'm saying it. I think he's had another three or four seasons in him. At me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, so um, who's your upset of the week? Did you mention it? I don't know if I caught that. My oh, no, you did. Week? You said uh, Indianapolis, right? Oh, yeah, Indianapolis. Okay. Beating, beating uh, and then uh, best defense. And so you mentioned that, too. You said a sleeper D was Indianapolis. Didn't you say sleeper that? D was okay. Indianapolis, but the, my, bet, my like number one defense this week is uh, obviously New England against the Jets, bro. Who? Yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah. smart. Yeah, who's your, who's your pick of the week just game wise? Like the one one clear team that's just gonna uh, wreck. Is that New England as well? Or no, is that Dallas? Yeah, it's Dallas. Dallas, yeah, yeah, I gotta agree with that. Uh, is Miami gonna go defeated this year? Are they gonna do a Lions? Oh yeah, they're gonna pull a Lions. Bro. <laughs> you think yeah. so? <laughs> they don't win up, any if, game. If it's up to them, they're not gonna win. There's game. nobody in it. There's no. Oh, you mean for taking reasons? Yeah. Or, but I'm just saying, there's nobody they can beat. Well, I mean, they played the Jets twice, so. There's a chance. They could pull it off. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, I want to talk about some fantasy picks. You got right. Well, okay. we both got right. So there was a question last week about uh, Cooper Cup versus uh, Singletary. Uh, I can't. It was another person, uh, Tyrell Williams. Who was the other one? Oh, Duke Johnson. And we said uh, you said Cup and Singletary. I said Tyrell Williams and Cup, and uh, they both worked out. Either way, you went. 
Yeah. It was good. Um, AP over Leo, uh, over uh, AP over uh, Latavius Murray and Gio. You called that. AP had a great game last, yeah. last week. Uh, he's still good. He's still good, bro. Yeah. I don't know how, but he always... He's not good. whipping his kid with, like, shit in his balls. <laughs> 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 that thing was, that was so uncomfortable, yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know the story. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, but, hey, he still gets a 1,000 yards every single <laughs> So it doesn't matter, right? Anyway, yeah. it's all sense. Uh, D.D. Westbrook over Ted Ginn, you called that one. And then you said Kyler Murray over Cam, which was obviously huge. Because, yeah. And Kyler Murray is actually going to be a pretty good fantasy quarterback. He's going to be a great fantasy quarterback. The thing about quarterbacks that rush the football, 10 yards for a point in... As a quarterback rushing the football. Shouts to Pats26, man. What's up? Thanks Yo, for being here. Hit us with a like and a subscribe. Carry on over Diggs, full PPR. Oh, that's so rough, man. Listen, carry on Johnston. I love him. I, I think he's a great running back. Yeah, you mentioned uh, that earlier. Off the top, yeah. you said that. Yeah. CJ Anderson got cut, so I don't know what the dynamic of that backfield is going to be with Ty Johnson. I know that it wasn't a full dependency on carry on Johnson deal. It was more of a we love Ty Johnson enough that we don't need CJ Anderson. Those are going to be our two backs. Um... I want to believe in Diggs, man, but he's had a rough start to the season. Yeah, Oakland, Oakland's defense ain't great. They don't have great I DBs. No, man. You know? But they got a good pass rush. They got a good pass rush. You don't trust uh, Kirk Cousins. So. I don't trust Kirk Cousins. I don't and, trust and the way the, the team's and, handling Kirk and Cousins. And they have Philly. I'm going to say fire up on Johnson, man. I think that's a good call, too. I'm going yeah. to sign up with that because Philly's defense ain't nothing to be scared of. No. And they Carryon can't... Johnson has big playability. He can break that big play. And if Stafford starts hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going to be backing off the ball. Exactly. You know? So, yeah, I would go carry on as well. So, we'll see what happens with that next week. I think that's a good call. Let's get into some sleepers, man. All right. You talked about this earlier, Frank Gore. Yeah, Frank How Gore. How is he still so good? I mean, he's not great. Let's be honest. I don't know, man. He never dies, bro. That's crazy. He's, <laughs> he's like the like, energizer bunny. He's like, like 47 years old. Yeah, bro. He's got, he's, is he in his 40s? <laughs> no, I think he's like 36, 30, 37. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for a running back, that's like, holy shit. Yeah, that's yeah. like you should not be in the league anymore. Yeah. I mean. Uh, so, Devin Singletary went down with a hamstring injury. They're expecting him to miss one to two weeks. You uh, were high on Singletary, weren't you? I love Devin yeah, Singletary. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, man. He doesn't look fast. He doesn't look dynamic, but he he is. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, I look for Frank Gore to have like 25, 30 carries. Legitimate. Does he break 100 yards? No. But he'll get like 60 in a touchdown or two. He'll score. Yeah. He's that's a good a, I feel like that's play. all you got to do is score. I'm not saying to put him in and be like, oh, my God, this is my ticket. But he's a good flex play. Okay. So. Bet, bet, bet. Rex Burkhead. Uh, yeah, they're going to be up big in this game. And last time they were up big was week one. And they put Rex Burkhead in, and he got a couple scores. Actually, so the wife was telling me that um, Patriots have the easy schedule this year. Yeah. Yeah, they're wise. And then, so, check this out, too. I go to the gym, and this dude, he's 60 years old. We became friends. I don't know how. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, like, every time I come in, he's like, hey, and I come talk to him. He loves football, so we start talking about it. He was like, do you notice the Patriots never really get penalties? They never get holding penalties? Yeah, it's... And, and they rarely call... They have, like, four flags a game in fat. Yeah, no. Is that, like, a thing? I guess, man. I don't, they say it's because they're disciplined. <laughs> is, he, is he whipping people with switches? I don't know, man. I think he's paying off the officials, personally. Bill Belichick. Oh, and then I saw... Oh, crazy. So I saw an article, right? It was on Yahoo, so you know Yahoo's question. Yeah. But uh, one of the players from... Who did they play last week? Uh, the Jets? Uh, no. Um, was it Miami? Miami's who they played last week, yeah. Steelers week one, Miami week before that. They hit Brady, and apparently the ref said to the dude who hit him, don't hit Tom. What? Don't hit Tom. Yes. Don't hit Tom? Yes. Don't hit Tom. Oh, my God, you know dude. I was like, if that's really the case, that is wild, bro. Like, that's that's, wild. That's, 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 I mean, that's crazy. I, when, I, when I read that, I was, I'll find it and send it to you, yeah. but I was just like, that is insane. That is nuts, dude. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, look, bro. They obviously have one of the easiest schedules. They play the, the Dolphins and the Jets. I will say, though, if you win the Super Bowl, you should get an easier schedule. I'm okay with that only because they win the Super Bowl. No? I think they should have the hardest path, bro. If you coming off a win on the Super Bowl... I feel like you got to be rewarded for winning the Super Bowl. You just won a Super Bowl. What else would you want, man? <laughs> Are you just scheduled next <laughs> year? <laughs> Fuck all that, bro. You just won a Super Bowl. That's your reward. Why should you? Why should they make it harder on you if, you, if, you're, if you're at the top? Because the best should be challenged. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got I mean if you the yeah. best prove it again. No, I, I get your point. I get your point. Do you really think there's something going on there though? Cause I cause I kinda feel like I don't know anymore, man. The Patriots have had so much success. Dude, I think they're like sacrificing goats or something. They, they might be. They yeah. Might be. They might be, bro. But I just had so much, my thing is they've had so much success and it doesn't stop. And the thing is they don't have great players all the time. Yeah, I, I don't mean get it, the, dude. the guys they have are not like world breaking, you right. know. I mean, Tom Brady's almost done. The reign of terror is almost over. I don't think so. Dude, how late can he play, I, bro? I, bro? He's not playing until he's 50. <laughs> bro, dude. I don't know. There's no way. I think, what is he, 41? He's 42. Did he, is he in the 40s? He's 42. Okay. 
I don't know. I, I see 45. He's drafted in 1999. See, Jesus Lord. And he played four years in college. That's I think. crazy. I see him going. <laughs> I see him going another two, three years. I do. I do. Because the system is built for him to just. 10 yards, 15. It's not like he's got to yeah. chuck it too far. Maybe Jamal Adams will take one for everybody, and then he'll blow him up this week. Did you hear about that? I did not. Jamal Adams got a fine last week for roughing the passer, and he's like, man, this isn't what I signed I didn't sign up to play this game. He goes, I'm going to keep playing Mike Brandon football. So, you think he put, put the head in the dirt? Oh, shut up. He'll be, oh, out of lead next, he'll be out of lead next year if he does it. You better believe that. You will not hear from him again. He'll have to run up and say, whoa, 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 don't kill Tom. Because that's what Jamal Adams wants to do, man. All right, how about Nelson Aguilar? Obviously, uh, yeah, uh, we talked about him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like him this week, man. Give him his shots. Does Jarvis do anything this week? Ah, uh, dude. If the if Cleveland's smart, yes. If yeah. Cleveland is intelligent, they're gonna get him involved, man, because he's a he's just too dynamic, man. He's too important of a piece. Who's the coach over at Cleveland? Do they have Freddie any other Kitchens? Coach? I don't know him. He was a offensive coordinator under Bruce Arians while he was here in Arizona. And now he was the offensive coordinator. Offense wasn't that great with Bruce Arians. It was great. It was yeah. good. It was great. Bruce Arians last season. He was under Hugh Jackson, <laughs> uh, under Hugh Jackson with Cleveland for the first half of the year, and then uh, when Greg Williams took over the head coaching job there after Hugh Jackson was fired, you know Freddie Kitchen stayed as the office coordinator, and then Baker Mayfield, the, the the legend is that Baker Mayfield allegedly went up to the owners and said, "Yo, we got an open head coaching job, and I want to do Freddie Kitchen." You think he had? You think he had pull like that? That's the legend, bro. Man, if he had pull like that, that's wild. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm just let y'all know what I want. Yeah, exactly. Make it happen. So yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's the legend, bro. Um, but David Njoku's out. He got a concussion last week, and on the same play, he broke his wrist. So you got your ass whooped. <laughs> you got to get Jarvis Landry involved, man. Yeah. They have to. You dude. think he has a breakout? He's week? too good. I hope so. How I about, love Jarvis. He's one of my favorites all the way back to when he was in Miami. Yeah, he's great. He was good back then too. Yeah. Catching passes from uh, what's his face? Tannehill. Tannehill. Yeah. Is yeah. he in the league? Yeah, he's about to start for the Tennessee Titans after that pitiful performance. They're garbage, not getting rid of. They're not gar- getting rid of uh, garbage can Mariota. They're not getting rid of Mariota. Dude, Mariota sucks. They're not getting rid of Mariota. Bro. He's awful. Fifty nine career starts. <laughs> hey, listen, to me. listen. Anger. I love that. Listen, anger. listen. Fifty nine career starts. He's failed to throw one touchdown in twenty three starts. Like twenty three out of the fifty nine games that he started, he failed to throw a touchdown. It's hard, man. Max Hall threw touchdowns in the games he started, bro. It's you know hard, who Max bro. Hall is? No. <laughs> I like that head check. That's all you need to know. He's that bad. Does he sit like some uh, college passing records? Doesn't matter. This is the NFL, and he sucks. <laughs> He's a garbage can. Get out to Hawaii. Start handing out lays, bro. That's yours for the rest of his career, man. Oh man, you wildin'. That's hilarious. That's- Demarcus Robinson. I don't feel like he's a sleeper anymore. I think it's pretty uh, from uh, Kansas oh, City. Yeah, he's not a sleeper. Bro. He's a really good receiver. He's amazing. It's crazy because when I, I was watching the game, he broke out, and I'm like, it doesn't like he's trying that hard. No. He was catching passes. Like, yeah, excuse me. What blows my mind, dude, is how does Kansas City always get good receivers, bro? That's Andy Reid, though. And he's they're always faster than everybody. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah, well, I mean, horse strength. Uh, he's up. <laughs> they're always faster, dude. Steroids. Miko Hardman's fast as shit. Demarcus Robinson's fast. Tyree Kill. Burn. Yeah. Super burn. When's he coming back? Uh, Four more weeks. Wow. Four to six he was out. They got to find a spot for him, though. They can't, they can't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, does he just slip right back into his old spot? Or do you think he he's just going to work in a rotation? He, he's got to move up. The dude is good. Yeah, it's great. I, I wouldn't bench him. I wouldn't move him down. Sammy Watkins? Yeah. I think he's overrated. No, he's not. I do. I think he's overrated. No, he's not. He did nothing in Buffalo. <laughs> he did nothing in Buffalo. He did nothing. He's hurt a lot, dude. Oh, man. I think his body's right. betraying him. Maybe that's, that's why I think he's receiver. overrated. All right, Greg Oden. Kick rocks. <laughs> Don't bring up <laughs> Greg Oden, bro. <laughs> This will be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last one. I cannot if deal we with start that. Talking about Greg Oden, bro. You know when basketball season comes around, we're gonna be talking basketball. Okay. Hey, we'll talk. We'll talk hockey too. I'll start all watching right. some hockey. We'll do we'll all of it. But we can't talk Greg Oden. <laughs> they can never come. Up. Never speak his name again. Yeah, those, those uh, years didn't happen. Look at last season. You ain't talking Greg Oden, bro. All right, I will not bring up Greg Oden again. That's fair. Unless I have to. Don't make me have to. There's nothing that there's no reason, bro. That guy's bagging groceries somewhere. That guy's garbage. That dude is really bagging groceries. No, he can't somewhere. even stand to bag groceries, man. He's a Walmart dude. <laughs> He's riding the rabbit, bro. Yes, I love the anger, man. It makes me happy. Darwin Thompson. Oh, look for him to be. I don't know what's going to happen, bro, but Damian Williams is out. LaShawn McCoy is potentially out. Mm-hmm. And uh, Darwin Thompson, and then. Um, is he good? I don't know that about that. I feel like he got some carries and he broke out for a run recently. He's a sixth round pig, man. I don't know what's gonna happen with yeah, that. Yeah, okay. But uh, there's also that other guy. I forget his name. Doesn't you, matter. You talking about Kyle Allen? You like Kyle Allen? I feel like Kyle Allen for Carolina. Yeah. 
No, fuck that. Man. No? No, I just like that he's a local kid, man. I mean, it's cool. You don't think he's good now? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. It's hard to tell, man. I mean, he had like he played like half a game last season. I think Greg Olson's going to be great because Arizona's a bad against the tight ends. And uh, Arizona's bad against the tight ends. And I think Kyle Allen's good enough to get the ball to the tight end. Okay. And then last but not least, Raheem Mostart. Mostert. Oh, yeah. Raheem Mostart is uh, legit. Oh. He's a good runner. I mean, somehow Kyle Shanahan always puts together the good running backs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like with Andy Reid and his wide receivers and his quarterbacks. Yeah. Like, Kyle Shanahan always has good running backs. The only problem with uh, Raheem Mostert is technically Matt Breed is the starter, and then Kyle Shanahan kind of came out and gave this weird, like, uh, yeah, well, you know, Jeff Wilson had two touchdowns in the red zone. He might be our guy in the red zone. So the problem is Matt Breed and Raheem Mostert both have big playability. Whereas Jeff Wilson is kind of just a little. You think he'll share the, uh, the duties? Yeah, it's a full committee right now. That's what's up. I hate that though. I hate running back like committee. Me too, man. That, that, that bugs me. Give one rough. dude the ball, let him do his thing. Yeah, absolutely. Think we got it, man. What else you got? You got anything else you want to um, add to the. Um, no, man, I'm good, bro. Yeah. Just don't ever speak of Greg Oden again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you said that six times. I yeah. believe you now. Yeah, yeah. So when you come in here, I'm having Greg Oden. Oh, oh the God, You're walking to me sitting right there. I'll be your left. I'm like, this. that's for you. Oh, <laughs> you go walk out. Done. They, they won't be able to see that either, so they'll just see me staring. <laughs> they see me staring over in that direction like, what Okay, can I ask one question about Greg Oden before we, before we kick off here? Yeah, what's up? Why is it hurt so bad? Greg I was in the fact, yeah. Oh, it kills me, bro. We could have had Kevin Durant. Oh. It kills me, dude. Oh, I didn't realize that. I just thought it was the fact that he was not that good and his knee went out very quickly. I mean, quickly. that too. But <laughs> yeah. we oh, oh we, got a, we got a late late entry. Okay. Shouts to uh, Timmy Yaka, the legend. Yo, what up, man? Who do I start as my flex play in my 12-player PPR league? John Ross III, Carlos Hyde, or Jarvis Landry? Shouts to Timmy Yaka. What you think? All right, so this is kind of rough because uh, it depends on the construction of the rest of your team, man. If you need a big play, John Ross is your guy. You know what I mean? If you want consistency that has the high upside, it's Carlos Hyde. Jarvis Landry, I'm still waiting on, man. I want him to have a great game, but I'm not I'm not firing him up this week. I'm going uh, Carlos Hyde in that, in that pick. I just yeah. feel like that's the chance. I like Carlos At Hyde. least it's consistency, I feel like, especially yeah. this week. You know and what I mean? He's the starter for Houston, man. Because with John Ross, you're right. He could, he could break a long win and you big points on John Ross. The thing I'm concerned with about John Ross, man, is last week, he was having a bad game until, like, Two minutes left in the fourth quarter, and he catches that 65-yard right. touchdown. Right. It makes right. his stats look a little bit But better. I feel like he could maybe do that once again. Oh, absolutely. You know That's what I mean? mean? That's what you draft a guy right. like that for. Right, right, right. But, uh, I would go Carlos Hyde. Who would you go? Who would you pick? I'd go Carlos Hyde. you Carlos Hyde as well? Yeah. yeah. It really depends on his team, man. If he needs big plays, you know. He said he's strong at running back with uh, AK. Who's AK? And, uh, and Chubb. Alvin and he, Kamara. Oh, Okay. He, he's strong at uh, running back with AK and Chubb. Feels like there's a bigger upside for running backs in a PPR league. Well, if he's got Kamara and Chubb, is Chubb doing stuff this season? I don't think Chubb's uh, doing a ton well, this season. I mean, that, that's cool. Carlos Hyde, though, isn't going to be catching passes. No, he's, he's the not. Houston Texans don't throw to the running no, back. He's not. They, grab, they traded for Duke Johnson for whatever reason. Duke Johnson is a fantastic catcher out of the backfield. They don't pass to the running back. Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to get your carrier carries from Carlos Hyde, but. If you're looking for PPR, I mean, Jarvis Landry, John Ross, maybe. But I, like I said, I'm still waiting on Jarvis Landry. Do you, so. I mean, if they get him in a game plan, though, he could be big this week. Absolutely. If they, if they get him, I mean, whenever they decide. Who do they have to get this week? In, they have uh, the Rams. If they, whenever they decide to get him in the he game. He also has plan, Royce Freeman. He says. Or I have Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman's getting past work in Denver, but Denver's a really trash team, dude. Um, I mean, you picked the flat card, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we got CJ in the building. Shout out to CJ. I traded Diggs for Sammy Watkins. Thoughts on that? I like. I don't like Sammy Watkins like that. I know. You just shit no, all over I don't. Bro. I don't like Sammy Watkins like that. I would have kept Diggs. Diggs is fairly consistent. I like consistency for my players, man. Yeah. I like it, bro. You just have to be aware of the fact that it's like a slot machine in Kansas City, bro. They're all great. They're all going to get their looks. When Tyreek comes back, they're all going to get their looks, and sometimes it's going to hit Sammy Watkins, and sometimes it isn't, man. And Sammy Watkins is going to get hit, and then he's going to be done. Sammy for Watkins year. is fine, bro. He realized that he's a lizard man. Did you hear about that? <laughs> what? He came out on Twitter, and like he's he's like, oh, yeah, I'm a lizard man. Like he, and so he's, he's like buying into the fact yeah. that that's who he is. Yeah, that's he's weird. adjusted his diet, bro. He's eating bugs now. We're good. No, this isn't serious. He's no, I don't know if he's eating oh, bugs. I'm like, well, what is happening? <laughs> but he's optimized his diet for this belief that he has that he's a lizard man, and his body's good. Bro. Have you seen um, those those YouTube videos, the lizard people? 
Uh, no, I choose not to watch. They say Eminem's one of them. They show like a spot where his eyes like change real quick. It was, it was, it was I ain't gonna lie, it was people. That's why he raps so. F- I don't know. I get tired of making sandwiches, man. <laughs> I can't talk that fast. Thanks. What's going on? Is that lizard? Is that lizard yeah, emojis? Yeah, yeah, brother. Any other questions before we get out of here, man? What else y'all got for us before we sign off? Hey, thanks for being here, folks. If you uh, haven't already, oh, hold on. Do I hold on to Landry if he doesn't blow up this week in fantasy, or do I hold on? I have Edelman and Moore at wide receiver. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop him. I mean, try to trade him if anything. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he has a good week and you're feeling like, and you watch the game and you feel like you, he's not going to repeat this, trade him. Try to trade him, man. Yeah, I wouldn't drop him. I feel like that'd be really dumb. I feel like you're letting go of a really good player. Uh, Edelman, what's up with Edelman this year? Has he done anything? Edelman, uh, I think he's going to be fine now that AB is off the team. I think, I think, I think that's going to that that group is going to go back to the median and we're going to figure this out. I was legitimately surprised they dropped AB. I wasn't. You weren't? I would have cut him when the first thing came out. Okay, so here we go. CJ got another one. Woods, Watkins, Gordon, pick two for standard. Pick two for standard? Woods, mm. Watkins. You want the touchdowns, Gordon. man. I'm going Watkins and Gordon. I was going to say the same thing. I was yeah. going to say the same thing. Uh, yeah. Woods has been kind of quiet, too. Woods had a bad game last week, yeah. I think. He's been kind of quiet, too. And he's more of a And they got a lot of receivers, so too. They got a lot of good receivers out yeah. there. Because they got what, uh, Marquis Brown, he's out there, right? No, no, no. They got uh, Brandon Cooks and Cooper Cup. No, they got another one, though. Um, Josh, they got another one out Josh there. Josh Reynolds. Um, they got a good, they got a good, like, solid core, though. Like, they, oh, yeah. everybody can catch up, uh, can catch balls and great. score. All right, here's Timmy Ock again. He said, what's going against the Rams for Landry? I feel like I can't get a good trade. Oh, he said, I feel like I can get a good trade going for wide receiver three or running back three. Okay, if you think you can trade him right now, bro, and you're tired of holding, really this kind of, this kind of stuff you got to make up your own mind on, right? Yeah. Like I would hold him, but some people don't want to wait and see what happens with these matchups. It's early though. It's early, bro. And they haven't really found their stride. If they find yeah. their stride, he could become a centerpiece to their, you know, at least to the possession. Top twenty four. Right. Receiver, right. Which is I don't think I get rid of him either. Yeah. I think I'll wait on him because if if they turn it around and they really get going, they could be a big offense. Yeah. You know? Jarvis Landry has wide receiver two potential if it gets going, man. So if you're going to trade him for a wide receiver three, running back three, if you can do it, do it, I guess, if that's what you're feeling like you need to do. But I don't feel I like you get good return to him. I would personally hold on to him. Because he's also got uh, Kamara and Chubb, so like I don't feel like there's a huge... You don't have a big need, man. Your yeah, team's it's, really good. Yeah, man. I don't feel like I would... And as far as wide receivers, I mean... I don't see... I wouldn't trade for wide receiver three with a, with a receiver that's a bump up from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But uh, other questions, man. Keep the questions coming. We'll try to stay live a couple more minutes. We didn't do in and out. I don't know if you want to do that real quick. I can try to pull it up on my phone, or you, I can even do it on the computer real quick. You know anybody that's that's out this big off the top of your head? Uh, I mean, Cam Newton's not playing. Ben is out, obviously. Ben, Cam is out, yeah, obviously. Ben's done for the year. Okay, Cam's so out this week we got more questions rolling in. So, do I start Jimmy G versus the if he steals, or do I start Josh Allen versus the Bengals? Josh Allen, <laughs> baby. Yo, I do your answer. That's that my shit. dude, man. I do your answer. That that's shit. my dude. Answer that you shit. start Josh Allen. You enjoy the the fantasy benefits, man. And then CJ wants to know: C Mac, Chubb, Eckler, Jacobs, pick three. It's a ten team standard. Eckler, C Mac, and Chubb, man. Uh, Jacobs had a little tummy issues this week. I don't know. He's claiming he lost like 15 pounds on Instagram. Um, news on Mark Andrews. Was he a little banged up, I think? You want to look up Mark Andrews? I got the whole thing right here, um, yeah. but it's looking kind of long. You just go to the Ravens. i do that. You scroll down, I guess. Yeah, scroll down. Um, I agree with that. Uh, I agree with that, too. I, th- I think you're going to get a lot of value out of Eckler. I think you're going to get a lot of value out of C-Mac. Always up there. Stop. Yeah, I got it right there. Limited practice on Friday. Questionable for week three play. in Kansas City. Uh, the limited part makes me a little nervous, but I think he's going to play, man. He was a little banged up last week, too. So, yeah, I'd roll him out there if he's available. If not, Hayden Hurst caught a touchdown last week, so I think Lamar's going to like targeting the tight end. Our, our offense, we roll out three tight end st- stats a lot. Or, uh, yeah, the internet does that, yeah, bro. for sure. <laughs> we, rolled out, we roll out three tight end sets a lot. So, you know, take if you have to pivot off of Mark Andrews, check out Hayden Hurst, man. I like Hayden Hurst. Hey, and if y'all in here, man, go ahead and hit us with a like, hit us with a subscribe, man. We do this every week. This is the Bench Podcast slash yeah, live stream. The homie Big Laylaw has the, has the mind. And just so y'all know, if you're watching right now, every 
pick that he picked last week was successful. So, <laughs> so you can only go down from there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can only get worse, guys. So you know, look but but no, nah, I, I think you, you obviously got the mind for it. Um, what else, man? I think uh, significant people who may be out. Um, I don't really want to run through this whole list, but uh, nah, man. I mean, Cam Newton, bro. Cam Newton, Devin Singletary's out. Frank Gore. We kind of covered it in the sleeper thing. You say we like Philly tomorrow? No, we picked uh, Detroit, right? Yeah, we picked Detroit tomorrow, man. I, I don't like Philly over all this shit. I think they're going to be middle of the pack. I don't think they're going to be great. I uh, I don't think that they That's really... Dallas's division, so. Yeah. I know. Greg Olson's going to play. Yeah, Greg Olson's going to play, and he's going to be good, man. But t- for whatever reason, the Cardinals can't stop the tight end, so. Let's see what else we got here, man. I, I think A.J. Green. Is A.J. Green still good? Oh, he said he's out. A.J. Green is out for uh, yeah, week, week three, three man. Uh, AJ Green, actually, j- news just came out about AJ Green saying he had some minor setbacks. But then news came out and said he was running at practice. So I don't even know what's happening anymore, man. Do, did, did you know when Joku was put on the uh, IR list? I didn't know that. Yeah, I just told you he broke his wrist. Oh. Surgery. Remember that? Maybe. Bro. I, said, and you're all, he I live minute up. to minute, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He <laughs> yeah. did say. He did. Yeah. I thought you said he sprang his wrist. I don't know like no, you say no, he, no. Broke he broke it. his wrist. And he got, uh, That's ugly. Surgery. He had to get surgery on it. Whatever happened to Tavon Austin, man? Philly's wide receivers out. Yeah, they're all out, bro. Yeah, their whole squad. Tavon Austin, he's just not. Why was good. he not good? He's five three, dude. I don't know. He's tiny. Hey, I always believe if uh, what was the little dude? Um, Cole Beasley. Cole uh, Beasley's playing in Buffalo. There was another one that was in. Uh, Wes Walker, where'd he go? Did he retire? Yeah, he's done. Call me crazy, but he says the Dolphins pulling an upset. Yeah, beating beating them. Beating the Cowboys, bro. All right, man. You put money on that. Put money on that, bro. Yo. You look, you look tough, you man. <laughs> uh, man, man. Whatever he's got, I want some of it. That's what's up. All right, man, we're going to wrap. Uh, throw in your questions real quick before we get out of here. One thing I want to ask y'all if you're in the live stream right now. So the homie Big Laidlaw is laying on a theory that Aaron Rodgers is done. He's on his way down, bro. He is. What have you seen? I want to go back over that. What have you seen to, 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 to tell you that? You can watch all of last year. Even the first game of this year and the second game of this year, he has passes where they're just not there, bro. Could just be his team has been Could just be bad, dude. Yeah. You not like you not like Aaron Rodgers? Nah, man. I've has, always thought he had struggles with really elite defenses. You think that has something to do with it? That I've always thought that. That you don't like him? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. Just watch the plays, man. You will you you will see him overthrow elite receivers. Defenses. You will see him miss receivers on timing routes. It's all the time, dude. He only has one ring, right? One ring. He's got one. Does he have one? I think yeah, they beat the Steelers. Yeah, he's got one. Yeah. That's it. He should have more. I like Rodgers as a QB. Yeah, dude. I do. I like him. As, I do. I can't even. It's, and, it's, and I'm a Bears fan, so. But I've seen when you see somebody pick you apart that often, you just start to believe in him. Aaron Rodgers has been on an incline. I think he means decline since he beat the Bears on painkillers. Oh no, maybe he does mean incline. So he means that that, that opening game. I don't know. I love how you don't. Me, bro. I love that you don't change your opinion. No, no one's gonna change my mind. I like no, I like it. I like yeah. it. And I respect it. It's just that that's one of the more wild things that. Uh... Hey. Oh, I was gonna ask. I had a question actually. Hey. Um, who's the best team in the league right now? Before we wrap on this, who's oh, the best Patriots. team in the league? Patriots, the best team in the league. Bar none. Uh, my Ravens are close, but yeah, it's the Patriots right now. Are they close? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you joined us tonight, if you've enjoyed what you've heard tonight, if you enjoyed what you've seen, please hit that like button and give us a subscribe. This is the Benched live stream podcast. We will be here every Saturday night bringing you your fantasy tips. Listen to the homie Big Laidlaw. He does a good job of knowing. You like a scout, bro, low key. And get you to, this one gets you to the league right here. I'm telling <laughs> oh, shit. you. I'm telling if this gets me to the league, bro, <laughs> I'll be happy, man. All right, man. Hey, thanks for being with us tonight. Peace and love. We are out of here. Hey, later, guys. Thanks for watching. That's funny. I'm talking about Greg Oden. He says, uh, he says, best team in the league is the Saints. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sign off on that note. All right, later. <laughs> oh, that was oh, good. Shit. Ooh, yeah, that does hurt. Oh, my God. Dog, man. Man. Yeah, that's All not right, Let's go to Ikea, good. bro. Get some better chairs. Yeah, no, that's going to have to be an investment <laughs> for sure. So is that Greg Oden posted. Oh, <laughs> you made me laugh with that, oh, bro. I didn't know that, that was such a painful thing for you. What about Brandon Roy, man? That hurts, too, but Greg Oden. Yeah, we done. What you doing, man? That was getting me. That was getting me. Man. Oh. Hey, baby, I love you. Hey, Daddy, Daddy. You going to sleep? Love you, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, let me sleep then. I'll sleep on Monday. All right. Love you, Daddy. Yeah, we're going to have to let you.
Oh, that's weak. 